Welcome back to the After Class Podcast. That sounded so formal. It was very formal. I know. Um, we are back with the whole crew again. And um, we all just got back from the... Canadian Open. You can, I was like, it took you a minute. I know. Where did we come from? <laughs> Sometimes I want to call it the Canadian Nationals, and then other times I say the Canadian Open, and I don't know why I struggle with that. But regardless, it was for the UKI. It was in St. John, New Brunswick, and the four of us were there competing with our dogs. And um, this is actually, we've been home for like just less than a week, and I think this is the first time we've all been together, which is kind of odd. At the same time, anyways. Well, you, yeah, I mean, let's face it. We all came home on the same day, but <clears throat> not all of us got home on the same day. This is true. So. <laughs> this is true. Jamie and I had a little there bit of a detour. Adventures. An adventure. A yeah. big adventure. Shout out to Perth Andover, New Brunswick, and our friend Ethan. Ethan. Yep. We and love the Castle you. Inn. And the Castle Inn. That's right. It looked pretty darn good, though. It did look good. It was amazing. Yeah. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. For to, a crappy situation, it yeah. turned out pretty good. To make a long story short, our car broke down three hours into our trip and <laughs> we ended up having to stay at a hotel that turned into like this beautiful mansion spa and no one else was staying there. So Jamie and I Happy had a great rain. night. Was there <laughs> no one else there? Like what, one, one other one couple. Other person, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And the dogs, it was great. Anyways. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're all back and um, we wanted to have a little debrief session because I'm sure lots of people do this, but one of the things that we like to do after a big event, either with ourselves or with each other, is we just kind of like to go over what the heck happened at the competition and kind of reflect bit back on things that we liked, things we didn't like, and then think about what we could learn from it so that, you know, moving forward, we can progress in whatever way that we can. So just generally speaking, like when people say to you, like, hey, how's the Canadian Open? What's your like gut response? Well, just because it was my first time at this yeah, event. Yeah, it was your first. It right. actually was. I forgot that. Yeah. Um, it was great. It was excellent. It was what? tiring. Yeah. Because um, that was your first time doing like four walk days. three courses at one time yeah, and then just, run. The setup of the event was a little different last yeah. year when you guys all went. Of course, I wasn't. I was not in the country. So, yeah. Um, but but yeah, it was the first time for me doing that kind of thing. So it was a little bit of a mental shift for sure. So, yeah. but I mean, overall, if somebody said, "How was the Canadian Open?" Great, and I would absolutely go back. Yeah, a hundred percent. It was very very cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. What about you, Inch? Well, we were there last year, but so well run and the so facility well is so, so nice and mm -hmm. they keep the schedule great. And I loved for the awards that they were able to like get to it right after. It's like, it was so the it fastest award ceremony mm -hmm. of yeah. all time. It was it's, epic. It's just, uh, it was great. And the weather was good this mm -hmm. year. Luckily, <laughs> we were there yeah, last weekend there this and not weekend. this Holy weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a yeah. hurricane oh, happening yeah, now. Uh, yeah, no, it's a it's super, awful. super fun event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Jane? Same. Yeah. And he was great. Yeah. Very well organized, detailed. I liked the briefings beforehand. So mm -hmm. you were kind of prepped before going into mm -hmm. it. Um, no complaints. Yeah. I really think um, they set such a great example for how to like give a ton of information. So you did feel prepared, but they were very respectful of everybody's time. So you could look at the stuff as much or as little as you wanted beforehand. And they didn't waste time being at such a big event, you weren't like standing through briefings and being like, oh my God, it's like whatever time. Everything was just so efficient. And agility gate. Oh, oh like yes. it's yes. the best, the Absolutely. nicest so helpful. way to, to be at an event. Yeah. Actually, um, one of our instructors that was home here, he had said that he was able to use agility gate here in Ontario mm -hmm. to find when we were running. And he like was so easy for him just to pop it on and be like, oh, my friends are so up th soon. That's how I found you guys last year. Cause yeah. when I was in the Netherlands, I had this live right. stream on, I had the gate open, I had it on TV yeah. and I'm watching all of you switching from ring to ring. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys think of like the caliber of dogs this year? Honestly, it was really hard for me to watch a lot of dogs. I felt like I was all over the place watching like you guys. Like, I don't think I saw many of the um, smaller dogs at all. Yeah, like, yeah they I were in a different ring than us, dogs. right? I, and on the 20 inch dogs, I think I only saw Angie's dog and a few other students' dogs. But basically the three of us were in the same group. So it was like, okay, one dog and then the next dog. And mm -hmm. it was pretty busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw, I saw a fair bit. I was trying to, be conscious of all the students running because we had such a huge group there. I did uh, struggle to see the smaller dogs a little bit, but I was able to see the big dogs and the 20 inch dogs. And I thought the caliber was really good. I think that um, it was nice to see, I felt like some of the dogs who are getting a little bit older uh, did quite well, uh, which was really nice to see. And then also you see like some upcoming, like newer dogs mm -hmm. that maybe didn't necessarily put it together, but like you can see 
that, that they're getting there. that they're getting there. And there was actually a couple um, smaller, like twelve inch dogs that I thought looked pretty good, which is exciting because our country desperately needs more like small dogs. So that was kind of exciting. But yeah, I thought the caliber was really good. I thought the courses were amazing. The this courses year. were great. I don't think I have complaints no. about any of the courses. Not one they of were them. fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Whether whether big dog or little dog, and that's sometimes my thing. It's like, yeah. you know, you look at the little dog course and you go, oh, that's okay. But then a big long striding dog, it's like, whoa, it's scary. And yeah. there was none of that in any of the courses. No, it was so good. They yeah. were like fast and mm -hmm. they were technical. Mm -hmm. You needed tons of skills. Like, how many throttle wraps did we do? Lots. I've never seen so many. I know. Yeah. We Lots. were like, yep. <laughs> zip, 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 zip. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, it was great. It was nice to see a bunch of Americans there too, like, especially in the little dog contingent. I I don't think I've ever too. seen so many Americans at they, the they Canadian Open. Dogs. Yeah. yeah, they brought some really, really good dogs. Yeah, I hope more of them come because mm -hmm. it obviously it's a well-run event, and I think the U.S. Open's getting bigger. And so now, what are you giggling at? I'm sorry, he said contingent, and I haven't been listing ever since. <laughs> Every now and then I put out a word in, just, just isn't quite sure what to make of it. Well, I know what it means, but I just was like, that's an odd word for that part. But anyway, carry on. Okay. I'm back. Right. I'm back. Uh, anyways, I was just saying that the uh, U.S. Open is getting bigger and all of us Canadians like to go there or try to go there anyway. So it's nice to see like it going the other way around because I think that eventually as Canadian Open gets bigger, it will become like one of the things to go to in the year, which I think it already is becoming that, which I think is kind of cool, especially for like other um, countries to come to. Like maybe it will extend past the US, which would be cool. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And again, being my first time at this one, just to touch on the facilities again, that is going to be hard to top. And I know it's going west. Mm -hmm. oh. And I think it's gonna be great and it'll be a fantastic event, but that facility, was unbelievable. The turf like, was great. It was too nice for mm -hmm. dogs to be running on. It really was. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was really nice. <laughs> I do have one complaint. Oh. oh. When I watched my videos back, I actually noticed that my dog was slipping a lot. Mm. Really? Yeah. I didn't and it's that funny at all. because when I was running her, I didn't notice mm -hmm. it. And when I watched my videos back, she was slipping a ton. Huh. I noticed on all, all three rings or? Um, yeah. Huh. Yeah. I still love it. I still love it. I don't want anyone to think like not, I would, I would go back again. It wasn't mm -hmm. like, it didn't affect me while I was there, mm -hmm. but when I was like dissecting my videos and like editing and stuff like that, I was like, oh my gosh, she's slipping so much. But I think she just gathered herself quickly. And so it didn't really, I didn't really notice it at the time, but I definitely noticed it when I was watching it back, which I thought was sort of interesting. Yeah, I noticed that in one- Maybe her nails were too it, long or you something. You guys all had warm-ups, and of course I made the mistake of not signing up for the one warm-up day, whatever it was. Rookie. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> Nobody told me, thanks. Um, but I did notice that in the warm-ups, because we know, of course, when I was helping you guys get everything sorted out, watching the dogs, in the warm-up ring itself, it was, uh, there was a lot of slipping in there, but I didn't personally notice it. Um, in the courses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it was great. And I would take turf over dirt any day because I am mm -hmm. a princess, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, but, but I was just going to be, even even beyond that, you know, being able to have, like we had a great uh, creating area. Mm -hmm. We were close, but not too close. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the facilities of nice clean washrooms, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it yeah, had all no of that porta -potties. stuff. Yeah, no porta potty. Like, like beautiful all, places to walk the dogs. Yeah, the trails. Yeah. I mean, all of that stuff was just so nice and, mm -hmm. and not generally something that we see mm -hmm. um, um, in the events, the other events that are that are around. So that was really nice for me to be able to, you know, come in and sit and relax and sort yeah. of know, and climate controlled. Yeah. Like yeah. air yes. conditioned. I know, like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very nice. So great. Um, in terms of the competing, like when you guys went there, did you go with any particular goals in mind or I guess goals is the right word? Yeah, I, I absolutely did, but I want to hear Angie's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Because I, I keep jumping in and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, let me no, back sure. a little bit. <laughs> uh, so I've been trying to make a point of running my dog more aggressively or boldly. That's the new word, yes, and I love it. Um, so that was for sure a big goal for me. Um, just trying to get through runs without eating, because uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of a bit of a theme for us. Um, and we did successfully get through some courses. So that yeah. was uh, a goal accomplished. And even some of the runs that I eat in, I still really liked the runs. It mm. just was a moment of error on my part, yeah. but uh, my dog listened great. So I would say that I accomplished the goal. Yeah, he did. With. He did listen really well. And runs um, a border collie who's very fast and with the blink of an eye can 
you know, he's not going to wait around for anybody. He's, he wants to go and he wants to go. Um, but he was listening really well. He has listening ears on and he's obviously more skilled now. So yeah, that was good. You had a couple of really nice runs with him. Yeah. And, uh, the other goal would be just to get my young dog in the ring and uh, have her excited to run and want to play the game. And she had a good time. She was successful with that. Check and mark. She didn't really go exactly where I thought she would, but uh, she went. Oh, she had fun. Oh, so that was good, though. I think I said to you, like, even when you were, like, had to stop her and, like, redo things, I didn't know if she would, like, be... Stressy at not all? Not stressy, but, like, think about think that about a little again. bit. And nope. she was like, woo, send me again. <laughs> like, yeah. she, she was great. Fun. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Steve? Um, yeah, you know, I went in wanting to basically try and run my dog as, as hard as I can. Not, not, and not like, yeah, boldly. Yeah. Without being crazy. I think bold is probably the best description of it. Mm. Um, you know, the start of the year, just sort of the start of the year, I wasn't necessarily running that way. I was running a little bit more managey. So I really wanted to kind of go in and go, you know, whatever happens, happens. And well, it's hard to run like that at a big event when you yeah. have all that pressure on you. It's one thing when it's like yeah. a local, but it, that, I think that's a really good goal because mm -hmm. it's really hard to do that at an event like that. Yeah. And you know, as Ange said, even the, you know, the ease and the errors that we had, the rest of the runs I still love. Like I watched them, them like there's so many cool things and there's so many great parts and wow, I didn't think I could be that far ahead in that stretch. Like there's just lots mm -hmm. of stuff like that, that I got that, that sort of goes, okay, you know, now we're, you know, we're really, you know, sort of kind of doing this thing. It was his first national event. So, mm -hmm. um, it was a good one. So I honestly think, you know, goal achieved there and you know, there's definitely some mistakes. I'm like, Oh, darn it. And you know, when you look back, but, yeah. um, you know, um, with what I had planned, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. He had a good, really good weekend too. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jane? Um, I wanted to go in to have a good mindset no matter what <laughs> happened Yeah, because I have a very young dog and sometimes it can go great and sometimes it can go off the rails real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, uh, to maintain contacts because he's young as well. Yeah. And for that, he absolutely maintained contacts, um, and jumping because the, the trial previous, I had several bars. Yeah. Which was a bit unusual for him. Uh -huh, but absolutely had them um and this trial or competition i think he knocked two bars and i and i can be blamed on that because it was bad timing mm -hmm. so he jumped very nice yeah that's really good that's so good it's definitely easier to go to events like that when you're not thinking about like your dogs whether it's going to knock a bar or whether it's going to get your contacts or the wheeze because there's like so many other things that you're trying to manage at the time so especially with a young dog if you can kind of not worry about those things then it's just like a little bit less that you have to kind of manage as you're going in because there's already so many things yeah. that you need to do so that's that bodes really well that's something that i found because i ran f five my puppy for just two steeple a uh, steeple chase i always call them that speed stakes rounds with just jump jumps and tunnels and um he still like runs around things and because he's doesn't really know what he's doing yet. Um, but I found that very distracting running him because I was like, is he going to take the jump or is he going to run around the jump? And sometimes he did and sometimes he didn't. And when he didn't, I was like, oh shit, we're doing Here 10 we obstacles in a row. That was amazing. And then, then he would run around something. So anyways, again, just like Ange, I was there for um, experience and just to kind of see how he would handle the event, which he handled it perfectly fine. Uh, but he's just not trained well enough yet. But it was like, it makes you appreciate your other dog as I go mm. in with B and I think, oh my God, you're so trained. I'm not there yet either. Yeah, and you're in the funky stage. Yes, I have some great moments and some disaster moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's so difficult when you don't really know like what's going to be laid before you. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that can be really really hard. Yeah, I think um I think I went in with um my goal was not so much to do well at the competition and if that happened then great, but it was more cuz I have AWC coming up in a couple weeks, which is an event that I've never been to before and I wanted to like feel like we were on the same page and feel like I was ready to go because we've had lots of ups this year. We've also had like a couple events where like just stupid little things would happen. And then that would like kind of get in my head a little bit. Also, we've been dealing with her Lyme disease and like sometimes she's not feeling well and just all of these things. So my main goal was to try to 
just be together because I didn't want to be going overseas in a couple of weeks and be feeling like I don't know where we are. So thankfully we had a good weekend. And so now I'm just going to try to like not be too obsessive about things for a little bit so that I, we had a good weekend. Why would that change in like two weeks? Just like chill out about it. So that was sort of my goal going into it with B anyways, five, I had really no, expe no expectations. <laughs> well, the expectations <laughs> I shouldn't have had some expectations. fun and yeah. let them and it run was around fun. and it was great. Yeah, yeah. it was really fun. Mm -hmm. Yep. He showed everybody he has a good verbal down in the middle of the ring. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that. I know. Well, I was trying to get, not get an off course. So I just yelled down and he yeah. was like, and he's like, oh, okay, okay. I'll lie down. <laughs> what a good boy. Yeah. Um, did you guys like at these big events, they're long and they're draining. Did you guys have any like big hurdles that you, that you had to kind of get over like throughout the week? Like, was there like any like super bad runs that was like kind of hard to get over or whatever? I know just before we left, I had put out um, a podcast, like a pep talk podcast and I had talked about all of that kind of stuff. Did any of you guys have to utilize any of those things? I know I did for a couple of runs, but did you have to? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we probably oh, all did. Oh, I think everybody does. I think yeah. everybody at the whole event probably did. Yeah. There's no way you can be perfect, no. but the whole thing is like when you shit the bed or something goes wrong, like what's the recovery like? And mm -hmm. sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not, but it would be interesting to share that because I'm sure people can relate. Yeah. Um, really the whole, that idea of that one little thing that has that little bit of a cascading effect. So like Saturday, for example, was awful. I eat everything and they were pretty important runs like they're pretty pointed runs and that I, is such a crappy feeling it, it you know and mm. especially because they were also connected to the runs the day before yes i'm like oh it's and, there and, yeah well, my, 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 my buy jumpers <laughs> my buy jumpers was one by by agility ate everybody we had a bar ran well mm -hmm. and i just had to naughty i know like that's all I had to do was just not eat. It eating. sounds so simple. It though. does, does sound so simple. To that's all so, I had to do is not so, eat. So exactly. And, I feel and then, very differently about that now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and then what did I do? I freaking eat. So mm. now one of my favorite runs of the event, because there are some other parts that were just super, super cool. So when I look back on it, great. But in the moment I was like, Damn it. That, that, like, I think I said to you when I came out of the ring, I'm like, that one, I, I went to your parents and I swore. <laughs> <laughs> I walked my dog out and I did my whole thing and I went over to your parents and I swore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Anyway, uh, but. I think Mama I had, McCann I will think help I you. had a yeah. Deb McCann pick me up. Yeah. You did have a Deb McCann pick me <laughs> yeah. up. I absolutely did. Yeah, I saw you guys having a little chit chat and I she thought, oh, mom, mom always comes in with the uh, words of wisdom mm -hmm. at the right time. Oh, absolutely. And she does it the right way the right as way. well. She's mm -hmm. very, very good Delicate, at that. Delicate, but like, you know, says what you need to hear too. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, that can be challenging. Did you have any things, Ange? Well, on Sunday, my dog had a rack in the gambles. Oh, yes. Oh, and uh, he hit the A-frame really hard oh, and- uh yeah. Anyway, he's fine and he was fine, but like I felt it was a bit my fault because mm, I was so running bad. a bit crazy because it was gambles so yeah, and me crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, should I pull him? Should I not? I was like emotionally upset that he could have gotten hurt. Yes. Anyway, we got it all together and we recovered okay. and it was yeah. fine. And he's okay. But, and he's okay. And he's okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, definitely that was probably the low point. I know me. you like came to talk to me and like you were trying to tell, like explain the situation and I could see you like starting to get upset. And then I was like, do I follow her? Do I not follow her? I'm like, no, I don't follow her. I leave her to be. And then I talk to her later. That was the yeah. right choice, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and I got over it. Yes, but, you did. Uh, I needed a moment yeah. or two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> those, those, those things are hard. Yeah. For sure. Well, add on the, you know, the error, but then also the health of your dog. And it's just yeah. like this doubling factor where you're like, oh my gosh. And so like, much. we all do this, but you work really hard on mm -hmm. keeping him sound and, yeah. healthy. you know, healthy and fit. And mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do is like ruin all the work you've done. So mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm so glad he's good. Yeah. And he ran fabulous. The, yeah. He was in fine. the last run, he like was he was great. Yeah. But yeah, my big sad moment was. Oh, your master I, series. Here. Yeah, I one little word. Yep, one my dog one, is too no trained. Teeny weird word. Beautiful course, perfect, right till the very last jump, and then for some stupid reason, I gave my bypass cue, <laughs> which means run between me and the piece of equipment, <laughs> and so she, she did. did. She sure did, <laughs> and she did it she so effortlessly. Sure 
and fast. And it happened so quickly that I just stood there going, oh my God, why? Why did I say that? And I wasn't upset with her at all because she was listening so well, but I just was so like, I don't normally make like stupid mistakes like that. Usually I just make like mistakes, but that one was like stupid. Mm. Oh, it took me a while to get over that one. That was like, Mm -hmm. anyways, it's a lot of pressure. You're running last and all these things. But anyways, it was fine. I did not let it affect like my dog though, which was good. I oh, kind of, she, she didn't care. She no, was, she was, <laughs> she was yeah. just, she, she had a party fun. tugging yeah. away and doing her thing. But I was like, oh my gosh, what a stupid, stupid thing. I was, um, I was looking through my videos today. I, I had posted some stuff on socials a few days ago, like with all my good runs. And I'm just about to post a compilation of all my errors because I'm going to be doing something on my Patreon about that. And um, it is interesting when you edit your video of just the errors, um, what that kind of looks like. So number one, you're like, why would you do that? I'm like, no one wants to see that. No, no well, that I, be, you do. A long video for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what I found though is there was like, um, there was like a couple themes. Like two of my major errors were weave mm-hmm. entries, which is surprising, mm-hmm. but, um, and they were totally different uh, weave entries, but they were both related to speed, which again, gives me mm-hmm. information. Um, the other thing that I found is that I was like evaluating my response to my error and like mm-hmm. how quickly I recovered and like got back on track again, or like how I reacted to her. And sometimes I thought that I did that very well. And other times I thought like, oh my God, Kale, if you had just like Right, gone a little faster, or you maybe could have prevented it, or you could have like moved on a bit, a bit more quickly, or whatever. Um, so I thought that was sort of an interesting thing, like. But when you see it like back to back to back to back to back, you're like, hmm, boost of confidence. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is not a boost of confidence, but if you can look it at it good, in a str- yeah, mm-hmm. constructive way, yeah. in a constructive way, yeah, for, sure. for sure, because you know a- after a big event like that, you do want to look to see like, okay, how you can improve. Yeah, where are my areas of improvement, and are there themes? Are there things that I didn't really notice that like are happening in like a couple courses um, that I need to be aware of, or is there something slipping? Like maybe it wasn't an issue at this trial, but it will be like in the future. Whatever it might be, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of that but yeah it's not it's not nice but i think it's important yeah good learning tool for sure maybe you have to take a certain amount of time before you look (laughs) before you look at it (laughs) maybe in another month maybe (laughs) a little bit that's really funny i I don't know like do do you do that intentionally though because so this is this is also one of the first times we're not i shouldn't say it's one of the first times um but i really spent the, the one day sort of going through all the videos and looking at them in pretty deep detail. Yeah. Like each run over and over and over again. And I kind of went through them in two mindsets. One was like, okay, let's look at all the good stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then I went, okay, now where did all the errors happen? Yeah. Right. And I didn't edit it together, but I, but I literally looked at it and was mm-hmm. like, and there's definitely some common themes for sure uh, that have come from it. But is yep. that usually what you do? Yeah. I, I look at my videos all the time. Like I bought four legged flicks, yeah, which so I didn't I, get yeah. till after the event, <laughs> but because I has also had people video on my phone, I could like look at it immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, Different angles for perfect. Multiple mm-hmm. errors of, mm-hmm. multiple angles of errors. It, yeah, no, I, I am yeah. a big video watcher mm-hmm. for sure. Um, I also find, um, this is a weird thing that I've done, is um, if it's like a course that I haven't run, that I'm not gonna be running for a while, sometimes I'll actually videotape other people that, will be similar to me so that if I'm not going to be running the course for, I didn't do that at this event, but I have done this sure. many times. Sure. Sure. No, I did. I did <laughs> I did this at WAO though, quite a few times because I sometimes wasn't running a course for like f- ow, hours later. Mm-hmm. Um, or I would also videotape the empty course. And so that if I would be like sitting, whatever, sometimes I do it when I'm in the bathroom too. And, um, <laughs> Cause it's quiet a lot, time. A lot it's can cool. happen. It's time quiet room. time in there. Um, <laughs> yep. But then I can like have a visual, like I can visualize it in my brain, but I'm, I'm a, I like to see it. Mm-hmm. So if I can like look back on the video on my phone or whatever, then I find it just kind of like reminds me about what I need to mm-hmm. do. But yeah, I'm very visual that way. I know not everybody is, but that's hugely helpful for me. Is it for you? Well, uh, it just makes me think about how we walked those three different courses in the morning and then we ran them, not necessarily in, in the order. order that we yeah. walked them yep. and we ran them several hours later. I would say that that is probably one of the main takeaways for me 
that I must get better at. Cause yeah. the first one I ran, I definitely ran the best. Cause it was the most fresh. Well, I think, I think, yeah, I, I think that once I had run that course, like you walked all of them, but then you, I think most prepared or I most prepared for the, the one first I was one? going to run mm -hmm. first. Cause mm -hmm. it was like most present in my mind. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I noticed that I really struggled for the second and the third of mm -hmm. like, not knowing the course, but like for my dog and like for the details. most of these dogs, you yeah. have to be so specific about yeah. where mm -hmm. and how and yeah. where you're going to connect and all of those things. And I was not nearly as good. In fact, on the second course, I confused the two jumps, remember? Mm. Which I managed oh, to right. save yeah. that yeah. jump, but then it bit mm. me in the ass right. three jumps later. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it is a skill for sure. Cause sometimes it's length of time. Sometimes it's like combining courses together. Like I know there was a few times where, um, they gave us like a large piece of time and then it was up to us to decide how much to divide our oh, time. Yeah, yeah. That was on Sunday. On I Sunday think. Yeah. yeah. Was it just Sunday? Yes. yes. Just Sunday. Yeah. Um, but that's interesting because you kind of have to strategize with yourself. Like for me, I started I started in the course that I was gonna run first and I did like a short period of time. So it was kind of like in the noggin. And then I spent a longer period of time on the second course. And then as I had got like the last like 10 minutes, I think it was, then I went back to the first course again mm -hmm. so that I was, you know, had that fresh in my mind. But I think you kind of have to figure out like how you're, how you're, brain works a little bit, yeah. but I do think you're right. I think it's a skill. So if you, like I've done that many times before, I've had to walk multiple horses and run. I don't think I've ever done it. It's no. not very common though. No. What yeah. We never do it here. Yeah, no. I think it's something we need to maybe- uh, We can definitely do that in class. But I, I also, I personally find that um, agility uh, courses are so much easier to remember than like mm, jumpers. Uh, jumpers or speed stakes. Like yep. if if we're walking both of them at the same time, agility I can get mm -hmm. very quickly just because there's a bit of a break and a pause. Mm -hmm. um, the jumpers and the speed stakes, those are the ones that after I'll look at my map and I'll like review it um, in my mind. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Yeah, I found that I did t bad at um, speed stakes, and I find typically if I look back at my track record. I don't think it's a good class for me. <laughs> Jumpers. Not a good class for me. It's Jump not? No. Why? You know why though? I think because in my brain, I consider it to be one of the easier courses. Mm. It and wasn't. I don't think I take it as seriously. Uh oh, yeah. And I think that I'm not as focused. And I also had a little reflection moment today looking through all my errors because I made the most mistakes in the speed stakes one that mm. I did with B. And mm. it was the beginning of the weekend. So that could have had something to do with it because you're still trying to find the lay of the land. But also um, I had run five on the course before. And I think because I had not run him before. And I think that when I was walking it, you're thinking more about him. Yeah. I didn't give B. I didn't, I didn't think I was doing that. I was trying not to do that, mm -hmm. but I think I didn't give it enough attention because the mm -hmm. next day I ran B first and then five. That's just how the order went. And I did awesome because I had B on the forefront of my mind. So mm -hmm. I think that's as I move forward with multiple dogs, I think that I'm going to have to work at improving on that because it's a skill that I used to have back in the day, but I think I am pretty freaking rusty. rusty at it. I now. remember though, thinking back and you walking the speed stakes, you were like, Oh, I don't know if uh, five has the skill. You were talking more about, about five than you were about B. I don't know if, if we can layer that. I think I have to go into that. Yeah, you're right. Um, so it yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. That particular one was also- hard not to do that with a young dog, but I yeah. think that you have to get over that. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that particular course was also the squishiest of the courses too yes. of the entire weekend. There was and some I think it was bits. the first one, first one that we all ran. So I feel it was like it was just probably the hardest of mm -hmm. the courses for our type of dog. And too. the tunnel, the tunnel turn was hard because yeah. were they gonna come out short? Were they gonna mm -hmm. come out long? It was a mystery. Mm -hmm. Long over here. <laughs> I had one long and one short. <laughs> yeah, that was really difficult. Mm -hmm. But it was definitely it was definitely the most compact of the courses, I think, yeah. of the, the entire weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I think it's hard. I, I think that's one of the reasons why I think it's good that they have that, um, they had that like flat out dogs challenge at the beginning. Yeah. yeah and I also, great. I was terrible at that one too, mm -hmm. but I was, it was like, I'm so glad that I entered it because mm -hmm. I felt like you kind of get your jitters out and you kind of get your feet wet. And I was thinking to myself, I don't get a jitter get your jitter out run at AWC. I only get one, one shot, one shot. One I shot. better have my shit together. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's scary. But um, anyways, yeah. Yeah. Nice to have sort of the, the, the quote unquote warm up for real. 
a, yeah. real, a really, really nice thing to do to, uh, you to feel, have to get over it with. You feel good going into AWC now though, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I definitely do for sure. Yeah, I I can't I haven't quite wrapped my 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 red around. I haven't quite what? wrapped <laughs> my head around like what my preparation in the next like two weeks looks like because um, I'm I think it's so less than two weeks. It is it? less than two weeks. Mm-hmm. It's a week Thursday, um, but I'm so tired from the last event still yeah. that like oh. Jam and I tried to train on Friday and like slugs could have trained better than us. <laughs> yeah, it's been- a, I feel it's like I went for a trip around the world. <laughs> we almost did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether or not- it was stop in the castle. <laughs> yes, yes, it did feel like that. But when we were there in the moment, I felt very relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> but we were on a mission to get home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you have to give yourself time to like recover, but I, f- I do feel a little bit stressy about like recovering and then having to like mm-hmm. ramp up for the next one. but. There's nothing I can do about it, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. But yeah, I do feel I do feel good about it. Good. Yeah. Do you know when I felt the most pressure at the event this past weekend? Oh, when? When you guys all smoked round two, and I was in the rotation after you, <gasps> and you all waited around to watch me, and I was like, "Just go home, guys. Like it's good." <laughs> oh, I did just sense go home, that. Guys. Oh yeah, um, I was like, "Oh, I didn't don't sense stay, that. Don't stay in case I shit the bed." And you all did so good. Oh no. You did. Yeah. You smoked it too. Yeah, we did yeah, smoke yeah, it too. Good. Thank God. Yeah, but uh, we did so good in the national rounds. Yeah, that was like so our funny. that was like the our highlight. event of yeah. the weekend, which is pretty cool because it's like the big one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, oh, that's so funny. Oh, I yeah. did not. There's a I lot didn't of know pressure. That. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to be like, mm, can you guys go home? <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> And likely would go home before you ran. Like no, really. I would have just hid behind like a garbage yeah, can or something exactly. and watched. <clears throat> that yeah. was not happening. <laughs> no, I did like my videotaping technique through the netting. Yeah, uh, I was quite a I, thing. I, yeah, I gave it to Steve. I was like, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> you, you you take that on. <laughs> yeah, I I thought that worked out quite well. They worked great. Yeah, some people were like, "What are you doing?" And I was videotaping? like, "Videotaping. Let me just do my never thing." Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no net's going to get in my way. Yeah. Um. Okay. So after the event, what is on your like training? Like what's on your training agenda now? Like what's the, what's the next thing? Not competition wise, but like, what are you, what is your focus? Yeah, skills, perfect. You wanna go? Yeah, I need more miles. Like I need to Mm. put more things together. I feel like we have some good skills and good obstacle uh, performance, but to put those things in a row (laughs) is sometimes challenging. (laughs) Yeah. Uh Yeah. And then working on like the, um, like the stimulation part of the high environment. Yes. My mom had a good idea about, um, she had lots of good ideas, so I don't know where you're going with what uh, one idea. The one idea I heard her say, because I was eavesdropping. Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about over there? Uh, was to record, um, like play the, oh. like record like the background of like a trial oh. and oh, yeah. like the teeter going and things like He's that. Hear and it then all. blast That's that. His life. Um, <laughs> while we're training. That's a good idea. Because even the sound of the teeter or the dog going mm-hmm. through the tunnel or whatever it might be, like that gets him high. Or someone yelling tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, he loves a good tunnel. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but I thought that was a good idea yeah, because it might probably, change his mindset a bit. Yeah. That was a, a huge struggle for us. The two ring environment for sure. Um, I also find my dog is higher when he hears any of you guys running dogs. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I had to run at the mm-hmm. same time as yes, you. And I was like, please, time. I do not want to run when she's running. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm already uh, having a hard time in this you. environment. Like, do I need more? Yeah, because I'm not quiet. <laughs> no, you're not <laughs> quiet. I think actually he did okay in that run. Yeah, yeah you did. I think yeah. he did do a good job in that yeah. run. <laughs> That's good. So, Miles, putting things together, working on stim things. That's good. Anything else? There's always things, but I would say that those are the things that really stand out for me. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think that's good. What about you, Uh Turns, as always, with mm-hmm. my with my older dog. And uh, how do you think his turns were at that event? Because I don't really, I think, I feel like he had mm-hmm. relatively good turns. Reasonable, so yeah. but I think but there it's could be always going to be In- a focus point for me. But I think better. Like they were, yeah, they're there were better. so mm-hmm. many runs where he was collecting better. nicely. I they just think really he's are. in general listening yeah. better. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I also think I'm running him differently, which is why he's listening better. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, dog walk exits. So 
just switched my dog over this past winter from, from a stop, stop to a running. Yeah. And uh, so I would say with the pre-placed toy in the ground straight out in front, he's pretty solid. Yep. Uh, but there was all sorts of dog walk exits. There was so <laughs> many different dog walk exits, like more than I've seen in a long time, yeah. which was exciting. But yeah. there was lots of times we'd be walking and she's like, so when do I say get back? And I was like, I don't know, I think I say it here. And she's like, yeah. I don't know. Never done this exit <laughs> Never before. Find out. Yeah. <laughs> this is brand new. So starting to now sequence the dog walk more yeah, and rewarding yeah. after a jump, but not just doing the dog walk to a reward. Yep. And truthfully, five could do that along with yeah. G. And then and then my young dog needs all the things. Yeah. Um. For me, my fitness. Mm. I need better fitness. Were you, did you feel tired? N- no, I don't think any more tired than anyone else. But I just think that. I think that I get slower near the end of the run and Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, like, I think I'm better when I start than when I finish and I want to be able to be through the whole thing and not think about it at all. Yeah. That's good. Especially when you're running a fast dog, being able to like run all the way to the end and like not be thinking about whether you're going to get there or not. Is that physical or mental though? Physical. It's physical. I don't think it's mental for me at this this point. I felt like physically I could be better. Yep. And the courses are getting bigger mm-hmm. and um, more space between the equipment as well, which I makes like more sprinting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I like it too, but it does mm-hmm. definitely make it more of like, like a, a it's a sport. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you're running now. Yeah, And there was lots of courses that would be really difficult for somebody who wouldn't be able to run or they mm-hmm. didn't, if they couldn't run, have the distance or the independence as mm-hmm. well because the, the design is just, it's headed in a different direction, which is cool, but yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I could see that for sure. Yeah, that's cool. What about you, Stephen Weaven? Oh, there's lots of things to work on. Some basics, though. Um, front crosses. Mm. Front crosses. Front crosses. Stupid front Give crosses. Give me a front and a cross. Which is what a, kind of cross? It's just a front one. Okay. Just one in the front. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my timing on them was terrible. That's one of the things that I, I looked at in the video. And that's, your, your hips don't lie. It's often it's often a bar knocker for us, so that's something that uh, that I have to really really work. Is on. it so like some, landing side front crosses? Um, generally, landing side front crosses, mm. which um, I think it has more to do with trial than because in generally in training we're pretty good at those. So it has more to do with sort of how we're handling. So, so next time it. you run something and you want a blind cross, I'm going to be like, no, you should do a front cross mm-hmm. just to make you do it. Yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, that is absolutely one. Oddly enough, leaving obstacles that I know he's committed to, too. I can, like recognizing his commitment a little bit more. Mm. That was There was a couple times where I'm looking at the videos where I'm like, why did you stand there and watch him mm. come around the jump and then look at the jump and then start to take the jump? The, Those are always good things to notice still and like, watching video. You need to go, like, holy cow. Mm. So that, you know, just that, that sort of thing, the timing of those things, which, um, you know, I think it's just going to, something that's in the in the back of my head mm-hmm. um retraining a dog walk yep so the, the, the time has come the adventure continues so <laughs> the fun time has come the adventure fun. continues no yeah fun and so, not fun yeah yeah yep. so those are those are sort of my uh um my big things to, to really focus on now so your goal is to have a running dog walk by tryouts Whew. Yeah, I goal. I think that's feasible. That's I do yeah. think that's feasible. You're, that's goal. you're yeah. already yeah. doing stuff, so yeah. I think that you can get there. That's the goal. Yeah. So mm-hmm. this is what what uh, month is this? September. It's yeah. September. yeah. So we're looking this at is April. Recorded. Mm-hmm. April. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You've heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. When we go to tryouts in April, <laughs> final better have a running dog walk. Oh, he'll run it. No. <laughs> 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 Just whether or not he'll actually get the contact is the question. (laughs) That's so funny. Yes. Yeah. Well, you have some work to do, but I think that it's a very tangible thing. And I think that it's needed now where you are with your career. Yeah, no, it it absolutely is. And and I mean, it is, you know, when you look at it at, at... out of Jillian, and you, you know, even your mom was laughing. She's like, "Wow, stop dog walks are like a dinosaur thing now." You're like, like, "Thanks, yep, Deb McCann. Yep, thanks so much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate that." But again, like it's 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 a little bit different now in terms of where I am with him and my eye, and all, so it's all different. So yeah, it's, it's like, hard. It's, it's a, a hard dream. thing for mm-hmm. sure. And as you know, and as we all know, it's d- very difficult to maintain um, stop contacts at these high events no yep <laughs> because you want to just you push you just want to yep. get out of there and mm-hmm. when you have dogs like ours where you give them an inch they take a mile mm-hmm. then it can be very very difficult to maintain it's it's very hard um that's another thing that i was went back and critiqued over all my teeter-totter releases because mm-hmm. that's my only stop one mm-hmm. 
I was pretty, good. I was very good. good. I was not. Yeah, but you know what I noticed? My dog usually has a pretty sick teeter. Like she goes to the end really fast. And um, I think because she was going fast and I was worried about flying off and the one judge that was there called me for... Um, a fly off? Uh, no, she called me for an off course because of the... Or did she call you for the off course? Let me explain what I'm talking about because I don't make any sense. So... Um, the one judge, when the dog did the teeter totter and the back legs came off yes. and then touched oh. like the lawn dart type of thing, she yes. called off course the one judge at the PhD trial. I'm not going to say the name, um, which whatever that's technically in the rules. It is. But yeah. I mean, it's a well, shit call and it's <clears throat> stupid, yeah. but whatever. That's my, my own opinion because the dogs then waits to be released like yep. a perfect angel, but whatever I get it. Um, but I thought, oh my gosh, she's not calling me on that. So I was like target, like early and so she stopped short on a bunch mm -hmm. of them which i lost a little bit of time for her doing that so that was something that i recognized that i could maybe train a bit in the next two weeks mm -hmm. um but my timing of my release was really good but i thought she could have done a better teeter-totter and i'm this is being very nitpicky but i'm a nitpicky kind of person so wait you're supposed to release them no, you don't. You don't release him. You just run and hope for the best. <laughs> the only one that was really early. <laughs> the other okay. Ones were, the others were a little bit early. You just need to own it, Steve. Just I, own mine it. Mine weren't good either. Yeah, I'm not send me about send it. me your videos and I'll I, I do a. About mine. Yeah, yours are good. Yours I'll, are always great. I'll though. put a video yeah. a compilation together for you of your contacts. Oh my gosh! I know it's really difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think it's good to look at how things go and then make a plan for the future. And it's also maybe okay that the plan doesn't start anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. Like a few weeks I mean, of like yeah, recovery, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Recovery. It was definitely a hangover type event where you're like, wow, I just need to stop doing this for just a little bit, even a few days, not think about it. Mm. I had huge mom guilt going into this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really struggled because I missed the girls first day of school. And I know that it's not a huge deal, but like well, all, those, you know, all of those it's little things I'm always there for. And mm -hmm. I really struggled coming into this that um, I wasn't going to be there for the first day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems I, like you were able to like let it go though. While yeah, you were there. yeah. I was able to let it go. My husband was fabulous by sending me like a lot of pictures and I talked to the girls after, but for whatever reason, I was really hung up on that um, coming into this mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. So some personal things mm -hmm. impacted yep. me um, mm -hmm. coming in, but I feel mm -hmm. also like when you're driving for 16 hours, you have lots of time to, <laughs> to, to let things go too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The drive was long, but I felt like it was like, um, it was a good way to kind of like ease in from like being busy and like trying to get ready to go to like having a couple of days to be like, we're going to a competition. Let's mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. focus on the competition. So I think by the time we got there, yeah, was, we had gotten yes. all of our gossip and I, well, yeah, stressy. I think, I think we talked for like 16 hours straight. We didn't even turn the radio on on the way there, <laughs> which is ridiculous, mm -hmm. but it was better. Yeah. yeah. The, the drive home was a little tougher because we had to do 12 hours in one straight shot, but what, how many hours did you do? Mm, it was like 16 oh. straight. Yeah. But we had some adventures along the way as well, yeah. which we won't get into on no. the podcast. Yes. That's probably a good idea. But um, I'm glad you made it home alive. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I watched too many crime docs to... Uh, yeah. To like that one. And your your drive was good too, right? Well, yeah, but you guys broke down because I was like, we were planning on stopping yeah. Like we yeah. on the way there. And then you guys broke down and I was driving and I was like, okay, well, I'll just keep driving. <laughs> and so I didn't even just stop. Keep driving. I just kept driving right past the hotel. <laughs> Yep. So it was like, six, yeah, it was but sometimes hours. when you want to get home, you just yeah, want to no, get no, home. It was yeah. definitely, I was um. at that point where I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, already this far. So we just, we just kept going. It was nice to get home and, you know, see my son and yeah. my wife and all the stuff. So it was, yeah, it was good, but it was a long drive. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Definitely needed the day. Harder afterwards. by yourself for sure. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, there was yeah. lots of karaoke. Oh. oh, oh yeah. What's your go-to car karaoke song? Oh, there's the, the, you'd, whatever comes up, just sing it. Just sing it. Okay. Yeah. So nothing in particular? No, nothing in particular. Whatever happens to come on. Oh, okay. Yep. Am I supposed to have like a go-to? Well, I don't like know. It's not like a pump up time because you're just driving, right? Yeah, that's Depends true. Sometimes you want to pump up. Not on the way home. You'd want to pump down? Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. I don't really know what that means. No. We kind of pump down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what else Ethan showed us? 
This is your guy from- This is yep. our garage guy. Okay. Uh, there was a tack in oh. her in her my wheel. Tire. In my tire. So in the, the one that was low? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. so did he, he take it out? He, and yeah, he, he fixed did. it right up. That's thanks to April? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. He goes, there's a tack in your wheel. And I said- who tried to sabotage us? And he goes, that's what happens when you win everything. And then he like winked at us. I was like, you're so funny. <laughs> I'm sure we just drove over it in oh, the parking wow. lot. But I'm surprised you didn't bring Ethan home with you. Yeah, he was a great guy. He seems really a handy great, to have yeah, around. Great guy. He, yeah. he, he drove us to dinner and then he drove us to our hotel. Oh my gosh. And I felt bad because I, Jamie and I were like, we were standing outside this garage for like ever, not knowing what was going to happen look, with our lives. We look like homeless people. We did. So it, James like, do we have some coolers in the in the in the cooler so go grab some so that w if they drop us off somewhere like we're not stranded without any alcohol so i go and i put all these coolers in the oh hoodie uh, of my like the pocket of my hoodie and then ethan was like hey let's go i can take you to subway so anyways james gets in the back of his car with all of our dogs free and all of our things, <laughs> Ethan drives us, he drives us to Subway. And so I'm the only one that's like, can kind of get out of the car easily. Are you clinking? They're full. There's like, there's three in this side and three in this side. So like it was massive. So then I was like, okay, Ethan, look away. So I take them out and I just start putting them in all of the cup holders around the car. Cause I thought, oh, what's he going to think of me? And he's like, is that going to be enough for you girls tonight? Do we need to go get some more? <laughs> yeah. Just around the corner. I was like, I knew you were our guy. So anyways, we were like, no, we'll be fine. But he was just like he was the nice. nicest. Yeah. We small, felt very town safe. Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. They were very, very kind. They're very helpful. It certainly made a bad situation. Very, very good. And, uh, well, and thank yeah. heavens it literally happened when it did. Yeah. Because yeah. an hour later, you'd have been in the, in middle, the middle of, of nowhere. nowhere. No, it, when right? we pulled up to the gas station and like lifted the hood and all like the smoke and the steam came out, some guy walked by. He's like, whoa, that's really steaming, eh? And then he just kept walking. I was nope. like, no, it's not. Thanks. Just cooking lobster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, what's the next thing, guys, other than training? Mine obviously is in the Czech Republic, so that's sort of, <laughs> yeah, you got some travel that's sort of a big thing, but then after that, I'm gonna be going puppy training. I'm all in on the puppy training, which mm -hmm. I'm super psyched about. But what's everybody else's next thing? I think it's just head down, right now for me, between now and the end of the year is head down training. and for, Running dog walk. Well, I was gonna say dog walk. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just dial her back a little bit there. <laughs> hey, bossy boo. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, well, I'm going to work any on longer. my <laughs> She's going to be keeping an eyeball. I'm going to give her the password to the, the <laughs> arena camera so she can watch you. In terms of, in terms of like things, though, there's, not, there's sort of a nice break. Yes. For me, there's nothing really major. So there'll be some little trials and stuff coming up, which is going to be great. But it's just all about just training, 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 training. Jane, what about for you? <laughs> Are you going uh, UK Invitational? Ah, uh, oh, uh, I don't. If you haven't entered, then you're not, because they only gave you a week to enter. Is it over now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a week since you got the piece of paper, so. Oh, did yeah. you? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I was going to go anyways because it's the week before, the weekend before our tryouts, and I feel like that's a little bit much for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like to go someday. I mm -hmm. think it sounds kind of cool. It's unfortunate timing. It is. It's unfortunate timing. Yeah. Yeah. Spring Cup for you? I guess, yeah. And tryouts? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Cool. That's great. <laughs> Okay, I'm well, I'm gonna enjoy some time off to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, the, the a little pressure bit of mental down. downtime. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. enjoy my dog and my kids. And I was too until you jumped all over me with the freaking dog walk. <laughs> yeah, well, pressure's on now, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear from all three of us if you don't get her done. Oh, That's so funny. It's gonna be my weekly question to you. Okay. Um, are you gonna enter uh, Gertie in tryouts? I don't know. I did this. How many months is that from now? October. November, December, January, February, March, March, April, eight months. Yeah. Like it's too, Ooh. it's too far out for me to answer that mm. question. So I did yeah. the CKC stuff with her because I thought, yeah, I, why not? I don't mm -hmm. want to not, not be, have, have that, that reason. option. Yep. But I like judging by what she can do right now, I would say no, but that's mm. eight months from now. Yeah. Eight months ago, she was very different than she is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. I don't, I really don't know. I do think though whether she is ready to go or not, I really need to evaluate how my mental game would be trying to run two 
quite different mm. dogs. Mm-hmm. And she'd also have Good to jump 24 inches, which I don't think would be an issue. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. But um, there's just a lot of things that would need to happen, but I wasn't ready to rule it out yet. Mm. But I don't know. Mm. Fair. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think that's in the cards for five. Mm-hmm. I think I think that I'll probably be like, I'll have like a good amount accomplished in eight months, like because some of the other things are a little bit slower and I don't have to focus so much on B, but I don't know. I think, I think I need more time. Also like he's a mixed breed and I have to jump through hoops to get the stupid CKC mm-hmm, yeah. things. And I just don't really feel like doing that. And then also there's still the stupid rule in, <laughs> a lot of stupid things are They're happening right now. Stupid, yep. stupid, 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 stupid. Um, like I can't even do EO unless he's neutered, which I don't really want to do. So, mm-hmm. uh, but in other news, oh. they just changed the jump height cutoffs for mm, IFCS, which is interesting. And now both B and five fall into the 16 inch category, hmm. which is, I don't know if I'll do yeah, that, yeah. but I just thought that was More interesting <laughs> for, yeah. and also for some of our other students that have, um, like I was thinking about like Sam and Raven, like there's a few mm. dogs that were kind of on the cusp that mm-hmm. now things are opened up a bit more for them, which is kind of cool. Um, would you consider doing five like FEO at EO tryouts? Maybe, but I think I feel like the same thing, like what you said, if it's going to, if I don't have enough opportunities to run them both like more for real between now and then to like learn about how to do that, then I feel like it might be a detriment to be, um, depending on what my goals are. And if I, if I'm just going to like run and I don't care about making the team, then maybe, yeah. So, but I, like you said, it's too I early think to know. the only positive for me is because she would have to be in a different height category. It might actually be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If they were in the same height category. Yeah. It might be more challenging. Yeah. With the timing of like running two dogs or mm-hmm. whatever. And then you would just need to hope that you could like run her first. Yes. Yep. So that you get your feet wet. But anyway, anyways, see. well, good debriefing guys. I think it's always good to have a good debrief after a competition like this. I like briefs. I like briefs too. <laughs> They're good. Do you like briefs, Steve? It was a fun competition. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. Yeah, on that note, watch your videos, look at your good things, edit all your bad stuff together, mm-hmm. and then take a look at that. <laughs> Come up with a plan. Come up with a plan. Don't feel bad about taking time off to recuperate yourself, your dog. That's all really important. And then slowly like get back into things and don't be too hard on yourself and try to think about what you can learn about what you did so that the next time you're better. And, and happy training. Ah! Yes. Train happily. I know. It's really, really important. All right, guys, until next time, happy training. Thanks for listening to our McCann Dogs Agility Podcast. If you'd like to learn more about us, check out the links in the show notes below. On that note, happy training.